I have a little sunscreen haul for you today. I have recently become obsessed because as many of you know, I was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer in January of 2020. Hi, I'm Melanoma Mom, also known as Sean, and I am on a journey to find the best sunscreens to prevent myself from having future melanomas. Like right now, I have on the new fragrance-free native mineral sunscreen. I went through an entire tube of the coconut pineapple. I have a review on this product. I will link that video in the description box down below because I did buy the fragrance version of both. <laughs> but on my face, I'm still wearing the coconut pineapple version, which is exactly the same. This has no fragrance. And I put it on top of a foundation, and I think it looks good. It's just still sticky. Here in South Carolina, it's very humid. But I um, hauled this, and I've already started using it on my arms, and it's still a favorite of mine. Let me tell you a little bit more about this. 20% <laughs> zinc oxide. Now, it's not water resistant, and it's SPF 30, which is good, but you know me. I like the SPF 50s. And I love this. It does take a little bit to rub it in. This is supposed to be a haul, and here I am. So it comes out white. And I suggest don't just slather all over your arm. Work in small sections. So as you can see here, we've still got a little bit of a whiteness. And then as you rub it in, it disappears. And I love how it dries down. It dries down normal. It's a very thin formula. It's not thick. And it has, it's sticky now, but it'll dry down. <laughs> I can confirm that it has no scent whatsoever. Yeah, no scent. <laughs> the other thing I hauled, these are, the rest of the stuff is stuff I have not tried yet. I've just hauled. Okay, this is the Ulta Beauty Mineral Hair and Scalp Powder, SPF 45, broad spectrum, and it is 25% zinc oxide. Here's that cute little bottle. I like this cute little bottle. It's tiny. This is tiny. And I imagine myself putting this in my hair, kind of like a dry shampoo, and protecting my scalp. You all know I love the Kula Spray On Scalp version. But I thought I would give this powder one a try. Have you guys tried this one? It also has the little cruelty free little, little bun bun there. Okay. The next one I got, I picked this up at Walmart, is the Copper Tone Sunscreen Lotion Pure and Simple Baby 100% Mineral Sun Protection SPF 50, free of oxybenzone, octanoxate, PABA, parabens, dyes, fragrance. It's hypoallergenic, naturally sourced zinc oxide with nourishing botanicals. It is water resistant up to 80 minutes. Six fluid ounces. And zinc oxide, yep, yeah, 24.08%, which is excellent. This was suggested to me at my oncologist office. He is a melanoma specialist. His nurse had melanoma skin cancer, and this is what she uses because it is cheap. So let's see what this looks like. I have not even squirted it out yet. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of a runny formula. It's white. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it feels very moisturizing. That rubbed in very fast, didn't it? Yeah, that rubbed in very fast. Again, I would, anytime I put on mineral sunscreens, I work in a small area first and then build up. We'll see if that dries down. It does not, it does not have a scent. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels more like a lotion, to be honest. I'm surprised about that. Okay, the next thing I picked up at Walmart <laughs> was the Copper Tone Sunscreen Stick. Pure and Simple Baby plus Cocoa Butter. 100% Mineral Sun Protection SPF 50. It's all the same things. Water resistant 80 minutes. Free of oxybenzone, octanoctate, octanoxate, BAPA. I don't know what that is. P-A-B-A, -A, I don't know what that is. Parabens, dyes, and fragrance. And I imagine I'm gonna use this on my daughter. Because normally we put the sun bum 
on her because I love the way it smells, but it's SPF 30, so I wanted to give this one a try. I don't particularly like putting on stick sunscreens on my face. I prefer a lotion or a powder or a spray, but for my daughter, these are quick and easy. 20% zinc oxide. And then I picked this up. At Walmart which is the first time I have seen the blue lizard at my Walmart normally I have to order off Amazon they did have the normal blue one which I have a whole review on the blue version the blue packaging of the blue lizard sunscreen and honestly I compared the two I in the store I picked up my regular blue lizard I'll leave that review in the link of the description box of this video and I compared it to this one and they had the exact same ingredients so the blue one is for like sensitive, sensitive skin sunscreen. It was the exact same as this one. So they're saying new and it's got Elmo on it, but it was the same as the blue sensitive skin version. So I don't know what that's about. This one has 8% titanium dioxide, 10% zinc oxide, UVA, UVB protection, broad spectrum, spe spectrum, SPF 50, water resistant for 80 minutes. It has the smart bottle technology. Let's open it up here. One thing I really liked about this too, before I show you the bottle, is on the back here, it tells you how much sunscreen you should be applying. It says dermatologists recommend one ounce, which is six teaspoons of sunscreen to cover exposed areas of the body. And it has, look at this. It says one teaspoon to each leg one teaspoon to torso and back, a half a teaspoon to each arm, and a half a teaspoon to face and neck. Adjust the amount of sunscreen based on your body size. But I love that little, that little guide right here that shows all that. And then this bottle is white, and as I'm sitting out here, it is turning shades of pink. We'll pick it up in a little bit and see how pink it gets sitting out here under my screened-in porch. Okay, the last thing, yes, the last thing I bought, I ordered online, it is the Habit N41 Mister. Okay, this is an all chemical sunscreen. Now, why did I get this when I'm looking for mineral? Sometimes I just need to have some kind of a quick way to reply over my makeup or as I'm out and about. And I was thinking that this would be a great size to keep in my purse, perhaps quicker. But let me tell you some more about this. It's SPF 41, broad spectrum, 0.9 fluid ounces. Now, it did come with an application card. So I may do a, let me know, would you like to see a separate review of this? Because it's pretty interesting. It gives you instruction card. But one of the things that stood out to me was that you're supposed to spritz yourself at least seven times in a circular motion over your face and neck. Seven times. Not once, not twice. Seven times. How dewy is this going to get on my face? What, what does that look like? What does seven times look like? All right, I am going to spritz it a little bit out here. Let's see if it ruins my eye makeup. So I have previously used the super goop version of this and I don't use it anymore because I have to cover my eyes when I spritz because it makes my mascara run. Should we test it? This is a pretty small bottle, but it would be perfect purse size. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this mister is like. This could be disastrous. This is you're supposed to hold your hair away from your face seven times in a circular motion. Okay, here we go. Okay. <coughs> nope. Don't breathe that in. Mm -mm. I thought I had held my breath long enough and I did not. <laughs> that went right in my mouth. It reminds me of bug spray. I'm going to get some water after this. Actually, I'm going to go get some water real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, make sure you take a deep enough breath to go through seven spritzes because I did not. That was disgusting. I'm so sorry. Um, what does my face look like? Does it look super shiny? In the camera, it looks super shiny, especially on my cheeks. Let's see if it dries down any. Did it make my mascara run? I don't think it did. I'm going to look in the screen of my phone here. 
Okay. It actually does not look well. I don't know. Is it running a little bit down here? I have to look back at the footage. Let me know. Do you get super, super shiny? It does have a scent. It smells like bug spray to me, to be honest with you. Um, what does this have in it? Let's see. Okay, it does at the bottom. It has lavender oil, some other kind of flower oil, rosemary leaf oil. So it does have fragrance in it. I mean, it definitely doesn't leave a white cast because it's clear. All chemical. It is not water resistant or sweat resistant. So I'm not sure this would be good for in such a humid climate. Let me know. Have you tried this before? I feel like it did get a good application, but my skin feels sticky. I'll let you know in the description box or in the comments of this video whether or not it dried down. Let's look at this bottle. It did turn a light pink. The UV currently outside, according to my weather app, is 11. So I've actually got some pretty good shade going on out here. My porch is doing a better job of protecting me against the UV rays than I thought it was, so great job. And of course, I have massive amounts of sunscreen on. <laughs> Already re I've already applied like three times today. Which one of these items have you tried? Let me know down below. Which would you like to see a full in-depth review on? Bye!